Danielson versus Jericho 3. You want to talk about a classic series of matches? Ali versus Fraser, Steamboat versus Flair, Danielson versus Jericho trumps all of those. And I can't wait to debut in my home country of Canada against one of my biggest rivals that I've ever had in my 32 year wrestling career. Brian Danielson, where have you been all my career? Where have you been all my life, man? You bring out the best in me. You also bring out the worst in me. Part of my mission to desecrate the legacy of the Ring of Honor is to beat the great champions of Ring of Honor. And Brian Danielson, you could be the greatest Ring of Honor champion of all time until Chris Jericho won this title. In just one week, I became the greatest Ring of Honor champion of all time. In just one week, the sports entertainer took over the entire history of Ring of Honor. Changed the narrative. Changing what Ring of Honor is, what it was, and what it'll never be again. Like I always say, a sports entertainer beats a pro wrestler every single time. And the Ring of Jericho destroys Ring of Honor every single time. So, my understanding... Garcia wrenching back. You see he's got that low grip around the knees, Tab. Garcia had Sammy Guevara beat. I think Garcia's got it pretty tight. And Chris Jericho does what he always does. Give him, oh, what? Oh, ho, ho, ho. no honor at all there. I don't know what he hit him with. Brian Danielson's still down through the timekeeper's table. With his, was it a bat? Was it the Ring of Honor title? I don't even know. Sammy Guevara gets oh. the win. And you know, I'm getting really... This isn't the Ring of Honor I remember. I'm getting really sick and tired of everything. Chris Jericho. The low blows. The way that he uses the bat. The way that he uses all the members of the Jericho Appreciation Society. And he says that he's using it to bring them up. He's not. He's using it to keep himself up. He's using people like Sammy Guevara, like Jake Hager, like 2.0. He's trying to use Danny Garcia in the same way. He's just doing it to keep him up. And I'm being really frustrated too about the way he talks about the Ring of Honor Championship. I'm changing what Ring of Honor is. I'm gonna desecrate its legacy. The Ring of Jericho era has begun. You know, I was in the first main event of the first ever Ring of Honor show. I am proud that I am considered by many as one of the best Ring of Honor world champions of all time. And what Chris wants to do, he wants to destroy that legacy. And part of that legacy is part of me. No mercy for Danielson! And I'm not concerned with my own legacy. I don't care what people think about me when I'm gone or anything like that. I care about what happens in this moment. But why I care so much about Ring of Honor is because it made me who I am today. I'm the fastest, I'm the best, I'm the most technically sound, and tonight- Danielson, shut your mouth! I'm gonna pillage the legend of Brian Danielson. I'm gonna walk out of Toronto, the Ring of Jericho champion. The Ring of Jericho era has arrived. All hail. The Ocho. But I'm not gonna come at this as the champion. I'm not coming to, to Toronto as the wizard or the demo god. It's the return of Lionheart, Chris Jericho. Lionheart beats you in the first match. Second time, you got me, Danson. Third time, the Lionheart is back. The rubber match. Who's gonna get two to one? It's been five years since I wrestled in my home country of Canada. I expect nothing less than a hero's welcome from the fine people of Toronto. I am going to be carried on the shoulders of every Toronto Maple Leaf alumni straight down Young Street, 
beer, pizza, fat bacon. It is going to be the rock and roll party of the year, all for Chris Jericho, the Ocho, Canada's favorite son. So come on down and cheer on your hero, Chris Jericho, because the Ring of Jericho era has arrived. There's all these people, all these people, when I was on the Independence, and all they wanted to do was make tons of money. And what Ring of Honor brought me, what Ring of Honor taught me, that I didn't need the money, I could find satisfaction in expressing myself through professional wrestling. And you want to take that away, Chris? Well, guess what? In Toronto, I'm not going to let you take that away. I'm not going to let you take that away from the Ring of Honor fans. Hell, I'm not even going to let you take that away from the AEW fans. Because we're in a huge battle. A huge war of ideas right now. And what it is, is it's your idea of what this industry should be versus what professional wrestling actually is. I've lost a lot of battles. I lost the battle tonight. But I never lose the war. 23 years in, I've been told I needed to retire at least five times in my career. I detached my retina, came right back. I've separated the shoulder five minutes into a match and wrestled for another 55 damn minutes! I lose battles, Chris Jericho, but I don't lose the war! And this Wednesday on Dynamite, Chris, I bring the Ring of Honor World Championship to where it belongs, and I win the war. You know, you end up doing a lot of thinking after someone hits you in the head with a hammer. And I thought a lot about our history, Pac. It's been a very long history. And it's not the first time you've tried to end my career. You know, Pac, you are a bastard. You just continue to find new ways to stoop to new lows in order to beat me. Kicking me in the balls, you gave me a power bomb that knocked me out and almost ended my career. And just recently, you hit me in the head with a hammer. I've tried to be a bastard too. I punched you in the face when you weren't looking. And I'm gonna do it again. Oh, the, the hammer right between the eyes of Beretta. Wait a second, Orange Cassidy has returned and he is out for blood. Orange Cassidy wants him some. He wants some retribution and revenge. He's looking for it here. You know, if you know me, you know I don't like to go anywhere. But I think I'll go somewhere. I think I'll go to Canada. I'm gonna go to Toronto. And I'm gonna take that All-Atlantic Championship from you. Because I am done trying, Pac. I'm not gonna try. I'm gonna win. So I really got to talk about what happened at Arthur Ashe. Y'all already seen it by now, right? We're about a couple weeks removed now. Y'all seen all the chaos. Y'all seen the glamour, the extravaganza that was Grand Slam. And you saw the fact that myself and Keith Lee lost our AW Tag Team Championships. A lot of people are saying we lost it to the acclaimed. I don't think we lost them to the acclaimed at all. From what I see, from what I remember, since I took the blunt of the attack, Swerve and Our Glory lost our Tag Team Championships to Billy Gunn. Swerve, I have no idea what your problem is with me. Maybe, just maybe, you look in the mirror and the guy staring back at you is the problem. You see, you say that I caused you the AEW Tag Team Championship. Well, that's wrong. You see, what happened is you got in my face not once, but twice. The second time, I dumped you on your face. <laughs> that's pretty much a handicap three on two, right? Wouldn't you say? You know, I'm actually quite... Quite frankly, I'm a little annoyed at the fact that Swerve and Keith Lee, Swerve and our glory, we keep doing the right things, but we keep getting the blunt of the bull crap, not only just from management, we got to defend ourselves against media and the fan base. Hell, damn, they're the locker room as well. For the first time, AEW goes international and Swerve Strickland in Toronto, you want Billy Gunn. Well, you're going to get more than you can handle. You see, Swerve, I'm from the old school. I see Billy Gunn abandoning his kids to hop on another youth glory train to keep himself relevant. I don't flip, 
I don't dive. I hit really, really hard. And what's the point of Swerve and Our Glory doing the right thing? What's the point of Swerve doing the right thing? What's the point? I really don't see one. So, quite frankly, in Toronto, Canada, I might have to do all the wrong things just to prove my point. So bring that rock that you carry around because you say rock beat scissors. Well, Swerve, I'm all rock. I just play with scissors. I met Shida Hikaru 10 years ago. I was 17 years old and I wrestled her in Japan. She beat the crap out of me. I can't imagine what she would do to someone who beats her up backstage and puts her out of the game. Now, I am champion of this company. I am the leader of this locker room. This locker room is mine right now. Jumping someone backstage Attacking them from behind in my locker room is unacceptable. You don't do that to my girls, let alone my tag team partner, Sheeta. Next week in Toronto, Sheeta is gonna mess you up. I know what this girl can do. And she is going to murder you, Britt Baker, and your friend, Jamie Hale. Britt Baker. Don't think you can keep avoiding me forever, coward. In Toronto, I will get you, and I beat you, beat you, beat you, and destroy you. I am so excited to be returning to Canada, and this is AEW's first international show. First event, I mean, when I first started here, it was during the pandemic, the first ever empty arena pandemic show. And now, a couple years later, we're going international once again, and we're coming to Canada. Oh, Canada, how I love you so much. I have so many great memories there. I love Canadian wrestling bands, and I'm so glad we are bringing all elite wrestling to Canada for the first time ever. I mean, so you said first go going to Canada, but we're actually, we're going twice. Uh, AEW is so nice, we gotta do it twice literally Wednesday and Thursday uh, because we're gonna pack this place out. Like, it's the first time AEW has run a full-blown event outside of America. And we're putting on two huge events in my home country of Canada. And the timing couldn't be more perfect because I know they had the chance before Ethan Page came to AEW, but now is the perfect time and the perfect storm. And we're only 40 minutes from my hometown, which is kind of mind-blowing because I'm gonna have so many family there and friends there. And, people that supported me from the beginning of my career that are gonna be able to see the success story come back to Canada and bring it with him, uh, AEW. I'm very excited that AEW is finally gonna go into national and of course we're gonna start it off with Canada because Canada has a lot, a lot of tradition when it comes to professional wrestling, so you will love AEW and I'm very happy to be there for the first time with AEW live in Toronto of all cities. To come to Canada, as part of a major organization, AEW, All Elite Wrestling. I mean, it means the world. It really does. It means the world to us. We're gonna have friends and family in attendance, um, and they haven't seen us perform in, in years. Especially, And certain certainly never on this level. No. And you know? it, it, it's also exciting, you know, personally, it's very exciting for us. I know it's exciting for a lot of the guys on the roster as well, you know, for, you know, I can't speak for them, but I will. Right. Chris Jericho is insanely excited about doing this show in Toronto, and, and it's great for us to be a part of AEW's first venture out into Canada and to be kind of some of the guys leading that charge, man, it's life's, life's amazing. And what, what, what's great about it with AEW coming in to Canada and to Toronto, it's, it's great for the, the professional wrestling scene in Ontario, in Canada. It just kind of, it feeds the soil, you know? It, really it creates an excitement, like a grassroots, and, and you can feel it. Like everybody is beyond pumped that AEW is going to be coming to Canada. And uh, I'm going to make a bold prediction. Give it to us. I think it's the first, the first of many times. First of many times. AEW is going to be in Canada. I'm getting tagged in tweets, by the way, from fans in different provinces telling me that they're going to fly into Toronto because they can't miss AEW's first time coming 
to Canada. And I don't think that even the wrestlers here, I know because I'm from there, but I don't think the wrestlers here even understand how huge this is for the fan base in Canada to get an alternative and to get our brand and our style of wrestling and the atmosphere that we bring to the arenas. AEW is like nothing else. I just love going to Canada because I feel like the wrestling fans there um, used to coin the phrase bizarro world. I don't think it's bizarro world at all. It's actually that the fans tell you what they like and what they don't like. To me, fortunately, they enjoy good wrestling. So I always loved going to Canada. I appreciate all the fans in Canada. And thank you very much for all the support over all the years. Anybody that's watching this, by the way, and I hope they don't cut this out, we all have a friend that likes wrestling. Every single one of us. And most of you find that person annoying. Yeah, okay, keep talking about your wrestling. We get it, we get it, we get it. Well, this is the time that you listen to your crazy friend that likes wrestling because AEW is gonna break the stigma of your thoughts on professional wrestling. It's more than just what you think it is. You have to be in a seat. You're gonna end up being coming friends with your neighbor on your left and your right because they're gonna bring the excitement that they do every single Wednesday and every single Friday to AEW. If you're a Canadian living within an hour or two, make sure you come. Experience AEW Live. It's like nothing else. I think we're making history. Are we making history? Yeah, we're, definitely we're making history! Are we not making history? Very first international show for AEW. How about that? Huh? It's huge. And of course, it's no. gonna be in Canada. Canada. And we're also Carana. gonna be making history Ontario. because it's gonna be a celebration. celebration. It is gonna be a homecoming, homecoming. celebration not just for us. your boys. Not just for us, but for the wizard. For the Elcho. The champion. Huh. The leader huh. of the Jericho Appreciation Society. Chris Jericho. It's gonna be an absolute celebration of two nights. Let's do the whole, the, the whole country. The whole thing. Huh? The whole let's run. The, you know, often forgotten about the Maritimes. Let's go to, the let's go to New Brunswick. Let's go to, let's go to Newfoundland. 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 Let's Nunavut. do it all. Let's go to Nunavut. I don't know about Nunavut. Let's go to Nunavut. Nunavut. I can't wait for Nunavut. I'm involved in Nunavut. Right? British Columbia, Saskatchewan, huh? Manitoba, Alberta. Montreal. Yeah, Montreal. Piranha. I can't wait. Very exciting. So promo-y. Yeah. Always gets promo -y. Yeah.